Hi everyone, my name is Isha Bissar and the aim for my project is predicting psychosocial rehabilitation services available at US mental health facilities. I tried to find the most suitable model for this. I used two data sets, one from SAMHSA and one from American Community Survey for the population. Initially, I used nine for the descriptive analysis. I made a density plot and you can see your two peaks which gives a clear understanding that there's one group which gives the services and one, one which do not give the services. The box plot to give an overview of how my data looks like. Facility types are from 12, are to 12, focus to 5, ownership till 3. And this is my uh, dependent variable. This is a sunburst chart. It's an interactive model. And you can see the percentages where how much percentage of services is available and how much percentage the service is not available. Then I followed with decision tree in nine, which personally I didn't find it feasible is just difficult to navigate for me I continued my analysis in R I started with linear multilinear probabilistic model you can see by the histogram of residuals there's no one normal distribution curve and the QQ plot is almost a sigmoid curve which it shouldn't be if I'm using a linear model so it just states that it has low predictive ability uh, so I started to make I, I changed my approach and I did logistic regression models which are the best models in case if I have a binary dependent variable so I perform multiple models by ROC curve you can see that even though I've performed different models they give the same predictability um, your there are multiple small details about the models overall what I found was model 2 works best it slightly has higher accuracy that is 63 percent but model 4 AIC is better so it is much simpler model to use then I tried to add another variable which I thought might impact my accuracy but really it did not impact that much at all instead I found that my one model works very bad you can sh you can see that from the null deviance uh, it, it's not really dropped it's increased so model 1 is better comparatively to the model 2 I went on to do the decision trees I did three decision trees and they gave me almost the same accuracy every time it li lied around 65% which is very same to the rest two decision trees Yes, I was trying to find this. Now, I performed another analysis where I changed my entire data set into a binary data set. I did that in Nine. Nine was very helpful and easy to convert all my data set into binary and to save my data set in CVS, uh, CVS format. And changing into binary, it gave me a significant change and increase in accuracy that is 66.7%. Six, in decision tree again it was around 64 65 so not much difference but it made made a huge difference for logistic regressions then i went went on and performed some analysis in r did different analysis here you can see that i could compare easily between the different 
models and I found that neural network and random forest works best for my model. I use scatterplot to compare the different models. This is the accuracy differences what I found in orange. One thing what I realized was if you see this line, this is the logistic regression line. Whereas when I perform logistic regression in R, it gave me much, much better results. I almost had 66% accuracy in R. These are the scatter plots. So, what I think is orange is better if there are any time restraints or if you want to make like initial phase for the project or you can calculate multiple different models in very less amount of time and also compare what the models uh, values are in a very visual manner but then if you want to control or uh, if you want to gain control on the minute things are is much better for that this is just a difference of my logistic model in r and orange and so i think because orange is giving me almost 70.2 percent accuracy for neural network and almost i think 68 or 69 percent for random tree I can perform those models in R and maybe I can find a bigger difference in R and maybe much bigger difference if I use the overall US data because it might just have more data for training purposes. So that was my project and I would add a link for uh, a link in description for this particular document. Thank you.